Now there's a technology called DLNA, which you've probably all maybe seen mentioned on websites, and it's a very boring acronym for something which is actually quite cool, and this picture shows it uh, a lot better and a, in a much simpler way. Uh, there's your phone, and using Wi-Fi it can broadcast your pictures, your music, and your videos to your TV through this little box which is called the HTC Media Link. Now inside you'll get a, a little uh, sort of user guide like that which you will need, uh, a safety guide which you'll probably ignore and you get three cables. This is a USB to um, mini USB uh, cable for charging. You get the charger itself which I've put behind my TV here. There it is. Standard sort of uh, HTC charger which outputs USB and then that plugs into the back of the device itself which is here as you can see it's a very thin little device if uh, any of you are smokers which uh, of course I wouldn't recommend it's about the same size as say a 10 pack of cigarettes pretty much it's very small it gets quite warm on the top I must say that that area there is quite hot it's a metallic brushed metallic finish on the top with the HTC logo emblazoned across there we've got a little on off button here which uh, wakes the device from its slumber and if you hold it down it will uh, attempt to connect to a Wi-Fi a hotspot but I'll tell you more about that in a moment and on the back here there's two inputs uh, one is the uh, charging cable here which is a mini USB not a micro USB but a mini USB uh, input and the other one is the uh, HDMI input which outputs on the back of my TV to a HDMI input so you plug the HDMI cables in and you get a sort of a screen like this. This is sort of the screen saver that's just uh, showing on television at the moment, which is a little bit dull. But uh, the device itself, I can sort of press it once and turn it off. And you see a little red light on there. Press it again and it turns it back on. When it actually boots up, it's got the HTC, quietly brilliant logo on there. It's very easy to set up but uh, I would recommend reading the manual because as you can see here it's uh, its name is specified on the screen. I'll just zoom in and you can see that it's connected to my Wi-Fi network at the minute although as default when you take it out of the box it will create its own uh, Wi-Fi network so you connect your devices directly onto this HDC media link through the access point that it generates itself um, but after you've read the user guide you connect in to the IP address of the HDC media link there with the IP address that's specified on the screen which isn't going to be that one it's going to be a different one and then you can tell it to connect to your own Wi-Fi network which is what I've done here and that enables you to share uh, media that you may already have on your Windows 7 PCs, laptops, or if you've got a server, something like that with video and uh, pictures already on it. It just enables you to show pictures that you've got somewhere on a laptop on your standard TV in your front room without having any cables apart from the power cable and the HDMI connection. Uh, of course, you can also use one of these phones. Now, this media link was shown to us uh, initially when we saw the release of this particular device which is the HTC Desire HD. I believe it's also available for the HTC Desire Z. I'll show you some other ways of doing it on standard Android phones in a minute. But here's the Desire HD and it's got a little feature called um, media sharing I believe. It. Oh, connected media, there we go. So go into connected media. This device is already on my Wi-Fi. I can go into music and it will have a look for the music that's on the my device and it will play it and then it comes out on the screen and you can adjust the volume of the output from your device so if I press volume down on here on the left hand side yeah, what it should do <laughs> there we go use the bo buttons on the bottom I do apologize use the buttons on the bottom and it adjusts the volume output on the TV here so that's playing a uh, copyright free mp3 tune that we've got on the Desire HD. Now if we go back we can have a look through the photos. We can see some camera shots that I've taken really quickly. I do apologize if these come out a bit blurred 
and we can just click on one and it will output that to my TV and again apologies again if this comes out really weird I can then control the viewing experience with the phone itself and I can flick through the pictures click right click right click right and it broadcasts it to the screen so that's just some pictures I've taken off this uh, HDC media link so you can see it a bit close up and then I can pause on that one and then I can go back and I can maybe show some video so let's just choose this one and that will broadcast the picture of the video to my TV through this little box here it takes a few seconds just to kind of get started but there you go and it's broadcast it in HD format obviously it relies on the original quality of the video so we can see what the uh, Desire HD and the Desire Z would do but this is a standard uh, HTC phone this is the HTC uh, Desire itself the original now you can do this with any Android phone you can use rather excellent apps like 2Player and that will broadcast your uh, local mp3s to your HTC media link or any other DLNA connected device across the Wi-Fi or you can use Twonky which I quite like because it does cool stuff like say here if I go to YouTube uh, it, instead of just showing YouTube video on the web I can beam it with Twonky to my TV so it's connecting in now and it will broadcast it to my TV hopefully now if I press play on my phone this is a live YouTube video from the web over the Wi-Fi playing onto my TV in high def hopefully if the video is high def and here we go, I'm quite a big fan of NASCAR having driven one myself and um, you can see this is actually a YouTube video so my TV has no cables, no aerial, no SCART, just that HDMI input and I can now watch YouTube videos through that little tiny connected box there so that's my uh, short review of this uh, HDC media link and I must say I can't find fault with it, it just works and uh, for the media buffs get one, definitely, definitely get one.